Hello everyone! I have a new process video for you for a Tracy Reed design team. I'm going to be working with the Hearth and Hollow collection from Tracy. This collection is actually on sale today for Oldies But Goodies Day at the Sweet Shop and I will have all of the information and a link to the blog post in the description box below so that you don't miss out on grabbing this beautiful fall collection if you want it, especially if you are new to hybrid scrapbooking and you weren't able to grab it when it was released last year. I'm gonna be using these two adorable photos of Miss Ella and I have a background paper ready to go from the collection. I also have a bunch of Traveler's Notebook papers and four by six patterned cards. When I print my collections for Tracy, I always print the pattern cards and the Traveler's Notebook papers because they are smaller sizes that I can use for die cutting or punching or matting photos. So keep that in mind when you are purchasing digital collections from Tracy, that even if you do not scrapbook uh, Project Life, or if you scrapbook um, a different size, that another, if, even if you don't scrapbook, if you wholly scrapbook 12 by 12 papers, then you can still use these other products to help you in decor or layers or things like that. I am going to work with a center vertical design today. I have these, I have two four by six cards that I have chosen and I am using my most favorite and adored notebook punch for a little bit of extra texture on some of these elements. I have my two photos centered on my page and these two photos are nice and straight because the background paper I'm using today has this beautiful gorgeous grid and it's fabulous. So my plan is to use some of these pattern cards. I'm going to add some extra texture both with this um, punching and then I'm also going to dip into my ribbon stash. Ribbons! That's right! We're going to use ribbons today <laughs> just a little bit and I'm not going to I'm going to use them in a pretty traditional way. Mostly I am using them just to add a bit of texture and something on my page that's not paper. I always say that when uh, when I create a hybrid layout or really any layout, it's always good to have elements on your page that aren't paper or uh, to add like some glossy accents or uh, some nouveau, some, something to your page to give it a little bit of different texture, break up the paper. There is that gorgeous ribbon. That's one of the ribbons I'm gonna be using today and then I'm gonna also use a little copper uh, polka dot one. I'm adding Vintage Photo Distress Oxide ink to all of my paper layers and I am going to attach these ribbons using uh, tear tape from Spiegel Mom Scraps. And so I, that way I'm getting a nice, straight, lovely ribbon placement. And this tape is so sticky. It's like you put it on and you're good to go. <laughs> um, I am just going to go ahead and fold these bits under. I added a little bit of extra tape to the back for that purpose exactly. So I'm going to go ahead and attach this ribbon and then I'm going to do the same thing to attach the ribbon, the orange ribbon that's up above. I'm going to create the bottom of this vertical line by taking a four by six card and cutting it in half and then using it vertically instead of horizontally. I'm also going to tear the edge of those strips in a more 
vintage photo distress oxide ink so you can kind of see here how that looks and then I can like roll up the edges and get a little bit more like messy kind of look to this layout I have been absolutely loving creating fall layouts and projects there will be oodles of them coming to my channel over the next couple of weeks I have been in full fall creative mode and I absolutely have been loving how this is how the things I have been creating so I can't wait to like do these voiceovers and make all these layouts live for you because I just know you're gonna love them so just going ahead and finishing up this kind of vertical line on my page. I had to trim this down a little bit and then kind of like re-tear it because I don't do math. So it wasn't exactly, it, I cut it too big, but that's okay. So here is kind of like the base of my layout. And now I can just go ahead and find all the cute little embellishments that I want to use. I knew right away I want to use this one little tag. It has this cute little fox on it. This particular collection has the most adorable little critters in it. So, so, so cute. I love them so much. Um, so, I'm sorry. I kind of lost my train of thought there. Okay, back to the layout. I am adding my fun little hemp twine to my tag because sometimes naked tags are okay but not today today i want to not naked tags i'm gonna pop that tag up on some pop dots these are tabby dots from spiegel mom scraps and that little fox is going to add act as my title as well that tag says love my pack and this girl 100% is part of my pack. So I am going to go ahead now and just create a couple of little clusters around that tag and then one at the bottom and a little one in the middle that I can add the date to. I love this little tag I added to the bottom. It says another gorgeous day and it's absolutely adorable. And I love that it's like gorgeous, but there's gourds and then I'm going to use a lot of florals and a little pumpkin and I'm going to place this cute little banner between the two photos that say it's fall y'all and yeah I'm going to use another tab and put my date on it keeping the embellishments pretty simple for this one I kind of kept this entire layout pretty simple but I love these photos. These photos are of Miss Ella and we were waiting in line to go to the pumpkin patch and she was singing and singing Old MacDonald and dancing while we were in line. She's so cute. And I got some cute, cute action shots of her that I was super loving. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and pop up that some of the elements that go with my little fox cluster at the top uh, to kind of give them a little bit of dimension. There's that little pumpkin and we're definitely going to use that. Be sure to check out this gorgeous collection that is on sale today. I think it's like 40% off. Like it's a good deal. And um, yeah, dip your toe a little bit into hybrid scrapbooking because it's so awesome. All right, everybody. I will talk to you all again very, very soon. Bye.